Bill Gates is valued at $138 billion. He is earning $1,300 per second. And then there is you. For some of you $1,300 is a monthly payment. Have you ever wondered what does it feel to be at the top of wealthiest persons? Or one of the wealthiest person? Have you ever wondered how they got there with no strong financial background? Have you ever thought of being one of them? What is it that they know you don't? What separates them from you? How do people like Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, Jeff Bezos build an empire with no strong financial background? All of them are self-made billionaire. Let me ask you a question. Does it ever occur to you what is stopping you from building an empire that could generate you wealth endlessly? The answer to all the questions is a problem. Let's go back where the foundation of education is built, schools. While schools may teach budgeting and saving, they may not cover practical skills such as how to create and stick to a budget, track expenses, or manage debt effectively. Some schools introduce the basics of investing, the topic is often not explored in depth. Schools often fail to address the financial challenges individuals face in the real world, such as dealing with student loans, mortgages, insurance, or managing unexpected financial emergencies. These real-life scenarios can greatly impact individuals' financial well-being, and providing guidance on navigating them can be invaluable. Schools often neglect to teach students about behavioral biases, impulse buying, emotional spending, and the importance of self-control and delayed gratification. Schools often do not cover emerging concepts like blockchain technology, digital currencies, and decentralized financial platforms. Familiarity with these developments can prepare students for the changing landscape of finance. Some schools touch on entrepreneurship, there is often a lack of focus on practical skills for income generation. Students may not learn about side hustles, freelancing, or leveraging their skills and interests to create additional income streams. Schools may not sufficiently address topics like income inequality, poverty, socioeconomic disparities, or sustainable investing. So, what does school teach us exactly about money? Nothing. They teach us to find jobs, get excited for higher paying salary. Now don't get me wrong. Getting a job that provides you higher income may be a financial uplift for someone. They can pay their bill, get their needs. Just imagine a scenario. You are working in a higher paying job that fits the criteria of the degree you pursued. But due to inflation and high living expenses, your savings are limited, and you perceive your income as insufficient. You are burdened with credit card debt and the weight of student loans. You have absolute no idea how to gain the financial freedom that school promised, or the teachers or the relatives or your parents promised. You find yourself looking in the mirror questioning the path you have taken and you could have taken. When you see people of your age or even younger age are becoming self-made millionaires and self-made billionaires, you may perceive yourself as less intelligent or a looser. The dreams you once held of owning a lavish mansion, driving your favorite sports car, paying off your mortgage, and traveling the world now seem like unattainable fantasies. Your world starts to crumble. You may have a mental breakdown. All this because of wrong foundation they teach you about money and how to gain the financial freedom. All this suffering because of the wrong information about building wealth. What if there was a way to build a massive wealth empire? What if you didn't have to give up on your dreams? What if you could attain the true meaning of financial freedom? The truth is, we can, but the road is harsh. It will stump you with the harsh reality in your journey. It will constantly try to push you down but it is up to you whether to give up mid-journey or get to the end and bring that dream you have been dreaming since childhood into reality. A recent report by WealthX revealed that among the world's ultra-wealthy individuals, those with a net worth of $30 million or more, 68% of them were self-made. Numerous studies support this finding. So there is no doubt you can be next. What do wealthy people know about money that we don't? The answer is simple, the way of looking towards money. They understand that knowledge is power when it comes to money. They resist the temptation of quick gains and focus on building sustainable wealth over time. They understand that patience and persistence are key. They are not reckless gamblers, instead, they are calculated risk takers. They carefully analyze opportunities, weighing the potential rewards against the risks involved. They understand that relying solely on a paycheck is limiting. They strive to generate passive income streams, such as rental properties, dividends, or royalties. By staying committed to their financial goals, 
they create a solid foundation for future success. A problem. In the beginning of the video, I said the answer to all the questions is a problem. Yes. A problem is all you need to generate massive fortune. You need to identify the problem and create a solution. This fills the gap within the society. Let's look at some of the examples. When Steve Jobs announced iPod, he was solving the problem. What was the problem? The, the field that we decided to do it in, the choice we made, was music. Now why music? Well, we love music, and it's always good to do something you love. But interestingly enough, in this whole new digital music revolution, there is no market leader. So, let's look at portable music, let's look at the landscape. The first thing, if you want to listen to music portably, you can go out and buy a CD, uh, CD player. Right? That's one way to go. About 15, 10 to 15 songs. Or you can buy a flash player. Go out and buy one of those. You can buy a MP3 CD player, or you can buy a hard disk based jukebox player. So let's take a look at each one of those. A CD player costs about $75, holds 10 to 15 songs on a CD. That's about $5 a song. You can go buy a flash player, pay about double that, about $150, holds the same 10 to 15 songs, or about $10 or something. I need all these. This amazing little device holds a thousand songs. And it goes right in my pocket. Everyone wanted to listen music endlessly, but there was no such option at that time. He made iPod fit in the freaking pocket. 1,000 songs inside your pocket. That's just genius. When Mark Zuckerberg made Facebook, it created many solutions to the problems we didn't even know existed. When we first launched, we were hoping for, you know, maybe 400, 500 people. Harvard didn't have a Facebook, so that's the gap that we were trying to fill. And now we're at 100,000 people, so who knows where we're going next. Now you can connect with anyone in the world within the fractions of second. When Jeff Bezos created Amazon, it solved the problem of going to one physical stores, searching your books and not finding it. It solved the hassle. Now everything comes to your doorstep. It doesn't matter to me whether we're a pure internet player. What matters to me is do we provide the best customer service. When we first started selling books four years ago, we were everybody said, look, you're just computer guys, you don't know anything about selling books. And that was true. But we, but we really cared about customers, and now we know a lot about books. And when we first started selling music, people said the same thing. But we hired the right people, so we don't do this in a vacuum. We go out and hire the best industry experts. He saw a huge gap and filled that gap with his innovative thinking. Elon Musk is on another level. He created electric vehicles knowing fossil fuels are limited and we must search for options. He created SpaceX, his ideas are next to Mars. So yes, in order to create a massive wealth empire, you first need to search for the problem and try to create a solution. This may take months, years and decades. The question is are you willing to sacrifice your months and years in search of problems and finding solutions? I need to tell you this that this journey requires sacrifices. Are you willing to make those sacrifices? The decision is yours. You may have felt discouraged or left behind when comparing yourself to the likes of Bill Gates, Elon Musk, or Jeff Bezos. But remember, they were once in a similar position as you are now. They found problems and created solutions, filling gaps in society and changing the world. It's time to change our perspective and adopt the mindset of the wealthy. They know the importance of patience, persistence, and calculated risk-taking. They focus on sustainable wealth-building strategies and generate passive income streams. They understand that relying solely on a paycheck is limiting and strive to create opportunities for themselves. We've discovered that the key to building a massive wealth empire lies in solving problems and creating innovative solutions. While school may not adequately prepare us for the challenges of the real financial world, we now understand that knowledge is power when it comes to money. The road to wealth and financial freedom is not easy. It will test your determination and resilience. There will be obstacles and moments of doubt. But it's up to you to decide whether you'll give up or keep pushing forward, bringing your dreams to reality. You have the power within you to be the next self-made millionaire or billionaire. It's time to believe in your potential and take action. So, go out there and search for the problems that need solving. Be innovative, persistent, and committed to your financial goals. Remember that the sacrifices you make along the way will be worth it in the end. Always keep in mind that your happiness and satisfaction are what truly matter. Building wealth should not be solely about the numbers in your bank account. It should be about creating a life that aligns with your passions and values. Remember, you have the power to make it happen.